everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to Crafts and Games Live. I'm so glad that you're here. I thought I would just go ahead and start, oh, what, a minute early since we're here. Welcome, everybody. So I'm trying to see who all is on, and I really can't see this screen. So I'm going to look over here, and I see Pam and Sheila and Sue and well, also Janice and Denise and Melissa, you guys got rain. Looks like several of you got rain. Hi, Denise Shaw. Let's see, who else do we have? Ooh, I've got a, there we go. I've got an ad jumping on my, my chat. That's weird, okay. So, how's everybody doing today? You having a good day? So, hi Viv, <clears throat> hi Miss Barbara. So, if you saw, or did I post it? I don't even know, it's, the days are running together. We had company and then we had company again and uh, it was just for dinner the second time. And so, you know, it's just like from one thing to the next. So it's all good. Um, we were very thrilled to have Kim and David with us. So that was so awesome. and. They haven't really been able to come for a long time, so that was a wonderful trip. Thank you for being so welcoming to her um, last week when she joined me on live. And uh, she's the one that took my picture jumping up for uh, 15K subscribers. You got that ad too on the, on the chat? Wasn't that weird? I don't know. That was weird. Hi, 2 and 62. I'm finally getting your name right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Terry Lynn. Oh, no. Oh, thank you for super chat, Terry Lynn. Looks like Terry Lynn's got some problems with her chat. Is it the, is it the ad they put on there? I don't know. I had to push, um, like, the arrow at the top to get rid of it, so. Oh, so, Melissa, did Melissa get something from you, Denise? I am uh, missing out, I think. Huh? Anyway, um, <clears throat> thank you for the uh, super chat, Terry Lynn. We all miss you in the chat. I hope you figure it out. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, it's cooling off a little bit. Today, it did go back up to about the 90s and tomorrow it is so is that what you have Janice out your way some warmer weather today and tomorrow so I'm hoping that uh, it'll just start getting a little bit cooler I'm not ready for winter but I that's that summer heat got really really hot hey Rochelle hey Carla yeah. <laughs> yeah, it threw me every time. I don't know. Uh, Caroline, hey. So, it looks like we've got a good group coming in today. I'm really excited about Crafts and Games. I love it. It's so much fun. I will tell you, if you're able to hang on till the giveaway, I'm giving away eight um, dies. Stampin' dies? Or just dies. I think these are all dies. Now, some of you may not have um, the double sided, but I think you can still run it through just the one. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give eight away. So hang on till the end. Remember to chat up in the chat because that's um, where I scroll to get the winners. Yeah, it's way better. Hi, Joan. So there are a few little. Um, things that I want to go over, some like housekeeping. I don't have to tell you guys to be super nice on chat, so no problems there. There was a person that was um, pretending to be me um, with my picture, so they took my picture and um, they created a YouTube channel, but if you looked at it, you could tell that you know, they didn't have any videos. It was all fake, but I reported them and I finally got all the uh, comments removed and got the person removed. Let me move that over a little bit. And uh, so hopefully none of you were sucked into any of that. Um, 
and YouTube, I think, removed the account completely. So I guess I'm just so popular. <laughs> I'm really not, so I don't know. But uh, I'm popular with those that want to be popular with me. So anyway, hi Hope, welcome, glad you're here. So Hope, where are you from? Let's see, yeah, eight winners tonight, so you have to hang on though till the end. Um, and I just mailed out a whole bunch of stuff. So if you won in the last couple weeks, it's on its way to you. I'm never ready for winter. No, so many scams. Yeah, and it's sad. Um, you know, to me, you would think they'd pick on somebody with like millions of followers and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm glad you guys were cautious and uh, you know that I will never post in the, in the comments that you won. You have to watch the video to see who wins, except for on live when we do it live, right? <laughs> and then, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a pain, but um, they were on it pretty fast. So, you know, that was good. I appreciate that. Um, I would just feel really bad if any of you, you know, got suckered into something. Yeah, I don't know why people are the way they are, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so let's see. Super chat, super stickers are available. Uh, don't forget the giveaways. So there, I was leading into that and I got sidetracked. So the Friday giveaways, this is the last September giveaway. We had five Fridays in September. So next month, October Friday giveaways are um, nesting dies um, every week. So, and they're all ovals. Um, so hopefully you, you be interested in that. I think they're kind of cool. Even if you don't have a die cut machine, you know, you can roll like a mason jar over them if you roll pretty or, or a rolling pin if you want to do that. Or you can trace around it and cut it out. So, so it's good for patterns too. And if you don't have a die cut machine. So there are those for October. So that's coming up. Do I have a, a hand wave? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, some people. I guess they do. I don't know. Do they really, like, get a bunch of money out of that? Because it, it has to take time. Seriously, it has to take them time. But anyway, um, South Carolina. Are you okay from the storms? Denise and all those on the East Coast. They were a lot of rain, I think. Uh, my friend, I'm going to give a shout out to my friend Bill. Bill, if any of you have been around a long time, Bill used to be on live all the time. And he used to watch all my videos. Well, somehow something happened to his channel and he hadn't been able to. So now he's back and hopefully he'll get to join us or at least watch some of the videos. So if you see Bill jump on, just say hey to Bill. Um, also, let's see, I haven't I haven't seen Jamie on in a bit. Uh, I'll have to check on him. Um, all right, giveaways. Fridays, I told you, the drawing for the big September subscriber giveaway is this Saturday. So don't miss that. You can still enter all week, so don't miss that. And let's see, thanks for the reminder. Yes, and then the 15K giveaway. So hitting 15,000 subscribers. So what am I doing to myself? Anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. It doesn't, I don't, you know, it's fine. So the, the 15K giveaway, like all my giveaways, you can enter every day. And if you, um, if you also have, um, you know, a share or something like that, you can enter again. And you just follow the, you know, the phrase and just put it in there. Hey, Butterfly Crafts and Crochet. I always say it backwards. I have always put crochet and crafts. It's crafts and crochet. So, hey there. Yeah, Facebook has a ton too. Lately, it seems like they message you and all this stuff. If I ever message anyone, I'm going to have a comment in there. I'm not just going to put a link, you know. And let's see, um, oh, is Donna on? Hey, Donna, hey, Melanie, it's okay. 
Yeah. Oh, you're getting ready for a test. Well, we just pray that you remember everything. How is your memory, Melanie? How's it going? So anyway, three giveaways. So don't forget. Don't forget. All right. Oh, and Jamie Cumby. Yes. Um, yes. Keep her in your prayers as well. So, uh, and then Joan has been gone. Oh, your eyes. Oh my goodness. And then Diane too. Hopefully Diane will get to get on. <laughs> you guys are going to love the game tonight. That's just all I'm going to say. All right. Well, today, um, we are going to just make pockets with junk mail envelopes. And I just figured it would just be kind of a relaxing fun. So if you want to get some junk mail envelopes and just craft along, that's fine. Um, I, you know, it's just ideas and just putting things together. So I wasn't going to make it real like follow this step here, you know, type of thing, step one, step two, you know, and all that. But I did want to remind you that you can take a junk mail envelope, just any one, and you can make pockets out of it. And a lot of them have these windows, so you can put plastic in there and have a little see-through, or you can cut them or whatever. So we're just going to have a play with them. We're just going to play around, use some of the uh, washi that I got. I got some new washi I'll show you. Um, use some of my papers and ephemeris. We're just going to have fun playing with it. And so I hope you enjoy it. Hi, Helen. Good to see you. Um, you know, if I, I may give you a shout out to, um, give me a, um, you know, should I do this or that, you know, so just, um, kind of watch that. Um, since Terry Lynn can't chat, you know, just kind of watch the chat with me if you can, because once I kind of start taking my eyes off of it and start just talking, I might not see certain things. So if you can help me with that. Let's see, did Melanie say how she's doing? Getting ready for her test. Okay, and then Caroline's here. We got a good, good group. And I think my sister uh, in love, um, I know, I'm, I don't toss these envelopes at all. I keep them, um, but um, she might join later the one that was on with us. So, all right, so I'm gonna switch screens. I gotta get up, I guess. All right, there we go. Let's see, is that kinda even? I don't want you guys to get like, that's better. There we go. All right, so I've got some lace back here and some cheesecloth and stuff, but, and I have tons that I collect of these junk mail envelopes. So, <clears throat> basically I was just, playing around with this this one and I cut it in half and one side I put the um, the flap on the inside and I can glue that down and I can have kind of a tuck pocket like that and then this one is the other half and I wanted the the envelope so I took some plastic that I was gonna toss is that's too far away Just bring it down I took some plastic that I was gonna to toss and put it on the inside and I cut a diagonal. So just put a tag in there for now, but and then just decorate it up. And I used some of the brown and some of the um, green that I have. It's a pine green. So I don't know if that I wanna make sure I stay on the screen for you guys. Oh, let's see who who am I missing? Hey Sue. place the metal corners. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Also, I I um I love making junk journals with these these little envelope journals. I love that. And I have one, but um have I ever been to No, I haven't in OKC. No, I haven't, Janice. Uh, yay, Patty. You got a kitten. Oh, Melissa, how sweet. You have a small petting zoo at your house. <laughs> oh, she is a polydactyl Hemingway. Oh my goodness. How 
how fun is she is everybody getting along and Mattinger is that it Mattinger welcome welcome Alice is here hi Alice the kitties are watching yay okay so this is just one idea just collaging things together but anyway okay so the other half I cut with some decorative scissors I'm just gonna take my um, my tape runner where did I put it I lose my tape runner I got everything out tonight and somehow I didn't get tape how does that happen really okay well we'll just glue it I probably have tape somewhere all right I just have to look for it okay so I'm on this one I'm gonna glue this on the inside and then I have sort of a tuck more than a pocket you know but it is sort of a pocket I need to go there okay now I will tell you <clears throat> I I wanted to keep the junk journal envelope junk mail envelopes like looking like junk mail envelopes sort of but decorated because um, you can cover them and I do that a lot and cover them with your papers but I also wanted to um, to just give them kind of their own look so another thing that you can do is you can put lace and all kinds of stuff so anyway I just thought what fun it would be just to play around and um, just talk so yeah, no book paper. You know what? I think there's just about anything with paper. If you can use your imagination, just, you know, like do it. Now, this is in our local area. This is a return envelope for um, our electric company. So those come all the time. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to just tear this in to little bits. And um, I'm just going to put some on here. And we're going to use... I like to vintageize ink, um, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has different uh, words. I make it look old. Now I'm going to use this as my front here, so I'm not going to decorate the back because the back would be glued in, right? Yeah, composition notebooks too. Yeah, fun. And then. Um, also, you can um, you can make different kinds of journals. You can have art, which I kind of mix sometimes art and junk together. So I just call it a junk journal. But some people are really particular about that. I have found. Um, so just you know, do your thing. Don't worry about what everybody says. That's what I say. I start with, yeah, and I do too, and I have some videos using Dollar Tree cards to create junk journals, and I love that. I love using uh, inexpensive things to make something beautiful or something that we might throw away and all that fun stuff. I want to make sure I stay on. I don't want to go off the screen, but it looks like my screen's different than, than that. Anyway, all right, so if you wanted to put a lighter on the inside, you could definitely do that. And then just add whatever you want, whatever look you want to go for. Um, if you want some ribbon or like, I like this um, cloth lace from Dollar Tree. It's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. And yeah, Dollar Tree journals make great um and you know the beginnings of a journal so that you can add to it um, those are really fun too and really very fun to get a start with you know and I love doing that so have many of you created pockets with your junk mail envelopes I'm just wondering there if you have Let's see, I'm going to look for some ephemera over here. Let's see, that's Christmas. That. And then you can use stamps as well. Um, 
There's a lot of fun stamps out there um, that you can use to add to anything, but I mean, you know, we're talking about these pockets here. So let's find something fun here. The lace is one of my favorites. Um, really, it is. Let's find, see if I can find a flower. Oh, that's a pretty. Um, let's see. Got all kinds of stuff in here. Just got to find what I want. <clears throat> well, we'll do this one since that's a flower. Now, the easy way, I'm going to put my glasses on, I can't really see. <laughs> the easy way to get these off sometimes, yes, does your Dollar Tree have a good crafting section? Um, is to use a pointy tool or something to get under there because sometimes these, these types of stickers are difficult. So, we'll just put that one there. And then I'm going to get a stamp. Oh, I wanted to show you these too. Let me get, um, let me see what I want. Do you guys have some fun stamps you use for your junk journals? Security envelopes look cute. Yeah. And I've made some really fun, like, folders and, um, things. Have you guys done those? I really enjoy doing that. So let's do, let's do this one since it's got flowers on it. Look like a stamp. Let's see, where's my black? So we're going to do this one. And yeah, stamps are really fun to use. All kinds of stamps, actually. All kinds. Oh, no, your internet's acting up. Yeah, so many stamps. Stampaholic. <laughs> yeah. And, like, on junk journals, I don't even really always care if it's a perfect stamp. I mean, if on a card, yes, I do. Because I want, um, I want it to, um... I want to give that to someone to, that, and it looked new and, and all that. But on a junk journal, I don't mind if it looks kind of thin or something because um, I want it to look old. You know what I mean? So, I love junk journaling. I know once you start, you will not want to stop. Just saying. Just saying. Uh-huh. Can you use any kind of ink for them? Okay, D did I miss something? For stamps. Okay, so there's different kinds of ink. So let me put this on here. Now, if you... um, Okay, so this is a whole nother session, but real briefly... If you use ink that is dye ink, so let me show you one that's dye ink. This is the dye ink, okay? Dye ink dries really, really fast, okay? And so if I stamp with this, I can count on it drying fast. And I won't smudge it or anything. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so then... If you want to use, um, if you want to do like watercolor or anything like that, you're going to want a waterproof ink so that you don't, um, uh, sometimes I do condition my stamps. Um, sometimes they don't really need it. It just depends on if they are the, um, acrylic or not. I like these, I haven't had any trouble with to condition the stamps. There's different ways to do that. Um, you can add like a, a Versa watermark ink on it and stamp it out a few times. You can also rub it clean. 
um, lightly wash them. You can use a um, stamping pad cleaner and kind of get them clean. So there's a lot of that. Um, also, um, so then that's waterproof ink. If you're going to be doing a bunch of coloring, like with alcohol markers, you may want some alcohol proof ink. If you want to do some water reactive things or blending, then you may want pigment ink. You may want um, a water reactive ink. You may want a distress oxide ink. This one and the water reactive both will allow you to have sort of a different look if you use some water. Let me show you something I was playing with earlier with just some packing paper that came in um, a package that I was you would throw away, right? So it's all wrinkly. And all I did was put some of the brown, um, the vintage photo on here. And then I put some of the green water reactive and the blue, and then I squirted it with water. Some creators do clean their stamps and some don't, yeah. Yes, I am on Facebook. I, uh, I have a page, Cindy A. Lewis, and my link is in the description down there. I don't know if you're talking to me or if you're talking to somebody else. <laughs> um, but I, I do clean my stamps because I don't want ink buildup. So that's me, though. Um, and then I stamped it. So you can see, this is just, this is fun. I could add this to a page, use it as a collage. Oh, you talking to somebody else. Sorry, sorry, Sheila. Let me get in there on that. Um, but anyway, it's really fun to make some background images, some pages, use different things that you might not think about using. All right. And then uh, pigment ink. Um, Pigment ink is going to stay wet a long time. And so pigment ink, um, you can emboss. You can emboss over and over sometimes and stuff like that. So this is just a one little one, you know, two. You can do whatever. So let's just do, let's just do a long one. Let's see what I have. Hi, Dawn. Yeah, I, I do. I wipe them down and clean them. Yeah, I just don't want the ink to build up on there. Uh, but there are people that do. So anyway, so if you wanted to, you could uh, leave your flap open and have a tuck spot like this. Or you can seal it and cut it. So let's just seal this one and cut it. Use baby wipe on them before. Yes, you can use a baby wipe on them too. Or wash them with um, like Dawn. But I wouldn't emerge them just because, just because I wouldn't. All right, so this one has a window, and I've got some, some little bit of plastic from packaging. So I want to put that in there so that I can have like a little protected window. So I just need to figure out um, where I, what, how much I want. So I don't need all of that. So I'm just doing a little estimating here. And just see, that should be good. Yeah. All right. So then I'm just going to, since I don't know where my, my tape is, I'm just going to put a little glue in here and try to hold that open. I know you can't really see. Okay. And then I'm going to slide in my little bit of plastic. So we're just using what we have. Right? That would end up in the trash. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's Terry Lynn. Yay. Okay, so now I have like a little window here. So I'm going to want to use this side. So like I said, I'm going to seal this envelope. But I don't want to seal the whole thing. Right? I just want to seal it where it is. And I don't want to lick it. <laughs> but you can lick it you want. So I'm just going to seal it here. Yeah. Yeah, they're easy to use. Okay, so then you got to decide. Do you want this at the top? Do you want it at the bottom? 
Oh, it poured five minutes and then stopped. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut this top off at right there, okay? So then I've got my, my, my pocket right here. I'll make sure I don't seal my pocket. It's wanting to seal. It's leaking out of behind my, that's why I wanted to use my tape. So we're gonna let that cool a second or dry a second. Yeah, yay. No, mine didn't have any plastic. Look, I'll show you the other one. Where did it go? See, no plastic. <laughs> I know, isn't that weird? Some of them used to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Terry Lynn, you still can't chat? Oh, can you just do like emojis? That's so weird. Well, thank you, darling. Reverse an whole envelope would make a great background too. Yeah, so you could do that as well. You could even cut it all the way open if you wanted to, right? So lots of fun ideas. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know. All right. And a shaker as well. Um, even a bookmark if you wanted to. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to um, add a little bit of blue and do some stamps. And I wanted to show you these while that's drying, show you these fun um, Amazon. This is Amazon washi and uh, it is so pretty. Um, it's got all these fun, this one is a tall, wide one, so I think it's about three inches, and really fun. This would be fun to put on there, because it's so big. Let's see which way does it go, it goes this way. So isn't that pretty? Yeah, I think that would be cute to go on there. And then, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> we have to figure out our emojis. <laughs> I don't know. And then this one I used on the other card. And this one's really pretty, too. This one has some pictures on it. Let's see. Let's open this, this one up so you can see. Look at that. And you could cut them out. Yes, <laughs> she's crying, I know, I don't know, how is your, I don't know if she can tell us any emojis, how is your arm, or your, from your soldier, your knee, um, very pretty, so anyway, lots of pretty, pretty ones, and um, letters, numbers, so anyway, really cute. I wanted to show it to you. All right, so this should be pretty good now. And again, you can leave that. You can, well, I could take some of this and, and glue on it. Let's just take a piece here of this packing paper. And just glue, glue some on here at the bottom. So let me go over the edges here. I wanna go over so we don't have the white. And you can add buttons and charms too. So don't forget that you, you know, you may want to do that with some of your stuff. I think it's just so many options, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's in my Amazon link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in there. It's really pretty. I don't remember exactly how much it was though. Um, I'm thinking. $8.99 or something for all of it. So, all right, so I'm just gonna um, glue this on, this piece down here at the bottom. And I know I said I don't cover them all the way up, but I don't wanna cover it all the way up. I just wanna give it some of this paper. And then a lot of times, do you guys let um, your papers hang off like that? Okay. 
I know. Well, you know what? I love tissue when I'm doing, um, also, like, I love putting it on my recipe cards or guest check cards or whatever. All right, so then we've got that pretty. And then uh, what if we wanted to take our lace and run it down the side here? You could do that. And then I wanted to stamp. I have um, another stamp right here um, of a butterfly that would be real pretty to add. So I feel like I could just sit here all night and play with this. Do you guys ever do that? I don't ever get that much time just to, for a long period, but I'll just put this butterfly up here. Now these stamps, um, I don't know. These are, I don't know if these were from Timu or Amazon. I'm not sure. But um, I really... Um, like that I don't have to really condition them because they stamp good. Now, if I wanted to color this in, I could do that. Let's see, what did I use? I used the alcohol proof. So if I wanted to color that, let me get a blue and a green alcohol. Blue. All right. So one thing that's really fun too is just to, just to, get a little creative with your colors and you know and so just and do you guys like the color so I'm gonna get a light color here and bring that out a little bit I do I like to don't always get to so we're gonna go with the a green here on the end and see so you could just use your stamps and then make it match or whatever you're coloring make it match your papers or your inks how are we doing okay where are we going Oh, I love the jumbo playing cards too. Those are fun to alter and give them a, a fun look too, right? Okay, so let's go medium blue here and bring these colors together. Let's do that. Yep. All right, so I'm just adding a little um, something to my butterfly here had really intended on coloring but I can go into a coloring coma if I wanted to so we won't do that anyway just to kind of go with you know the whole motif of things and then if you wanted to um, like add something down here I don't want to I don't want to go over the window per se but um, just anything to make it dimensional, I think. Gee, yeah, there's a ton if you're comfortable ordering from there. So we're just gonna go that way. And we're just gonna go like a light touch here. So you have something going on. So let's put um, just one more here. Should we cancel that stamp, do you think? I think we should, right? <laughs> so, I have that. I have this one. And we'll just cancel that. Even though it's not really a stamp, right? So, we'll just put this over here. That. And then, going to town with it. Going to town with it. Afraid to buy? I know. I do buy duplicates sometimes, but then I end up giving them away. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, let me wipe this off. So then I'm gonna add um, some lace. Well, 
my blocks get stained. I'll tell you that. Do your blocks ever get stained on your... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Have a fun bookmark, um, pocket bookmark that we're going to do. Can't wait to do it. With pockets. That'll be cute. Alright, so I'll try to keep up with everything that I do on my Evernote. Anybody else use Evernote? Hi, Stace. Stace. Hi, Judy. Yeah. Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. Oh, okay. 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 The clear. Let's do clear. You guys know me too well. All right. See? All right. I love love it should we put it all over the whole butterfly yes can you see it yet is it sparkling <laughs> all your block yeah i would keep trying to wipe it helen but you know i don't know i can't see <gasps> look look at the butterfly can you see it Oh, love it. Thank you. Good idea. This is my favorite sparkle, the clear. I mean, the other ones are pretty, but clear can go on anything. All right. So, got two half envelopes here that we made. And then let's put, I found this lace in one of my bins. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> Oh, can you believe it that I had a bin with all this lace in there? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to put it over this. I'm just going to put some glue. Glue it down. We'll just leave that to there. See, I keep adding more and more. I don't know. All right, then we need, um, we need something here. I need a, a big flower. I don't know where my flower stickers are. Hmm. Ooh, we could do smile. Oh, there's some. What does this say? Princess. We could do smile. But I don't know. You know, it's it's kind of glittery. Do we want to do that? Do we want to do the smile? Terry Lynn! Hey! Maybe it was an update on your phone. Yes, Crafters Companion does sell them. And they just got a new website, Crafters Companion did. So if you, um, if you're already have an account with them, you have, you should have gotten an email to like update your account and then all your stuff will be linked. Mine mine worked. A lot of people's haven't because they're maybe they didn't get the email or maybe they didn't even see it. I don't know. But after I looked at the email, it worked. Alright. Ooh, that's nice. Nice. So anyway, I mean, we're just playing here, but um then you can put in your your bookmark or your tag or whatever you want to put in there. It needs something else, but I don't know. But just fun putting together some fun different um, oops, say that uh, different types of pockets to go with your junk journals and um, just just to make things. Um, from something that would get thrown away. It's my thing. And I like, re, you know, doing that. I like making sure that I can use something that might end up in the trash. So I do that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I could keep going, but we need to play our game. And again, I'm going to... Um, 
I'm going to give away tonight eight, I believe it's eight. I think I pulled out eight of these dies. So let me move stuff around because this is drying. We'll just put that out of the way. I got kind of got carried away with, with green. So these are the prizes tonight. So there's four of the roses and four of the lilies for love. And um, that's what we'll be playing for tonight. And I have a fun game for everyone. Yeah, shipping has gone up. Uh, way up, yeah. I know, shipping, my shipping is expensive. Okay, Butterfly Crafts and Crochet. We'll miss you. Sorry. Oh, no. Okay. Everybody, remember, remember to um, comment. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is our game is a crafty story tonight. Let me get my story. So, I'm going to change my view. Our game is a crafty story tonight and so listen to the story and then I'm going to ask some questions afterwards. All right? Yeah, I can tell you you're gonna love it. <laughs> I'm trying to watch here and there and everything so. All right. Yeah. These, these are the ones, and if I don't have your address, and you know if you've sent it to me, um, prizes at Cindy A. Lewis. So if you get uh, awarded a prize tonight, make sure that you send me your address, because I can't mail it to you. I still am holding, and I usually don't, but I still am holding um, one prize from March. I usually don't. I usually re-award it. But I know she tried and still haven't got her address to come through. So, anyway. Okay. Uh, yes. Story time. Crafty story. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up. Are you ready? Are you ready? What did I do with my drink? I think I left it somewhere. Okay. We're almost done. We're in hurts. <laughs> this is a fun one. You will, you will remember. Alice loves stories. Okay, you ready? Okay. While Cindy was crafting one day, she received a notice on Facebook that her friend Sabrina took a trip to the beach. And you know, Cindy loves the beach. So she's not jealous or anything. But being... She has three beach-themed junk journals in progress, still. Uh, she wondered if there was anything that Sabrina could find to add to her pages. Ah. Meanwhile, Donna saw the post also and decided to get a crafty party bus and pick up some friends to surprise Sabrina at the beach. <laughs> I'll pick you up in an hour, Donna messaged Cindy. <laughs> Little did Cindy know Donna had picked up others too. When Donna arrived to pick Cindy up, Cindy saw... <laughs> Pam, Rochelle, the Denises, Melanie, the Debbies, Sheila, Leslie, Diane, Patty, Alice, and even Nettie from Canada. <laughs> Cindy is so glad. Let's see. Cindy is so glad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Cindy is so glad she packed well. She shared her glue, her paper, her tape, her ribbons, her ephemera, and stickers with everyone. When the crafty party bus arrived at Sabrina's beach house, 
She was so surprised. I bet she was. And Cindy was so excited, she forgot to pack her clothes. But what a great time. <laughs> oh, did you like my story? All right, are you ready for some questions? <laughs> uh, I know, it's funny, huh? Yeah. Okay, question number one. What was Cindy doing when she saw Sabrina's post? <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you like the story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, she missed Caroline. Oh, no. What a big day. <laughs> For everything but my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what was Cindy doing when she saw Sabrina's post? I know, Janice didn't make it. Two and 62. <laughs> and Viv, we've got to get everybody next time, Donna. <laughs> and Melissa, too. Okay, she was crafting. Yeah, she did see it on Facebook, so she must have had it on there, too. Right? <laughs> yes. I'm watching you guys post. It's just hilarious. <laughs> A crafty party bus, bus anyway. Okay. Who... <laughs> Who got the crafty party bus? Who got the crafty party bus? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sue. We miss Sue, too. <clears throat> and Miss Barbara. Miss Barbara said she'd like it. And is it... Madager, Madinger, Madager. Um, she would like it, I'm sure. Madager, I don't know who that is. Joan would have liked it. Judy would have liked it. I know. Who was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was. That's right. Donna got the party bus, the crafty party bus. That's a party to us, anyways, right? You guys, I know. Okay. Hi, Carla. You missed the story, and Helen missed it too. Oh, we got so many more to put on that crafty party bus. I'm sorry, Carla. And Dawn, we missed Dawn too. You're waiting for the bus, <laughs> Denise. I know. And me too. All right, question number three. Matted, matted tiger, Mat, matted tiger, matted tiger. I'm trying. I don't know. Matty, matty, matted. Is it tiger? Is it I, tiger? I'm terrible with names, really. I don't know. Okay. And we miss Terry Lynn, too, by the way. But she's healing. Matty, tiger, matty, tiger. All right, I think I got it. See, Donna, we have to make sure we get everyone. All right, next question, number three. Name one person who was on the party bus when she came to pick Cindy up. Name one person that was on the party bus. <laughs> what time should you be ready for the bus? I don't know, Donna, what time? What time, Donna? <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> Maddie. Can I just call you Maddie? Um, yes, 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 me. Maddie, yeah. Me, Denise, oh. Yeah, you like how I did that? The Denise's and the Debbie's? Yep. All right. Good job. Well, it wasn't Sabrina, right? She was already there. She went without us. Yeah. But she did send a video on Facebook of the water and the waves. It's much appreciated. All right. Question number four. Name something Cindy brought on the trip. 
What did Cindy bring on the trip? Oh, see, that's right, Melissa. Terry Lynn was already there recovering at the beach. You're the DJ for the party bus, Rochelle. All right. Nettie all the way from Canada. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, did I brought stickers, yep. Yes, yes, Carla. It was a really cute story, I think. Anyways, everybody was laughing. So Sabrina really is at the beach this week. And Donna really did say one day she should get us a party bus. So, you know, I just took all of that and put it together. I know, I forgot my clothes. <laughs> and that might be me if I was, um, you know, in a hurry. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, last question. And you already answered it. What did Cindy forget? <laughs> I have to keep this story. This is a good one. I <laughs> wrote it up while dinner was cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All right. So, I know you guys know. Okay. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that. Big yawn, right? And you guys' uh, camera. All right. So, I'm going to give away um, the roses first. And I'm just going to get a pen over here so I can write down the winners. And I'm just going to scroll. Party tunes are ready. Yep, yep. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. No nudies at the beach. <laughs> I would have had to go and shopping and buy at least a couple changes of clothes. Oh, you want a copy of the story? <laughs> I'll have to type it up. <laughs> Maybe I'll send it on our group email. Would you guys like that? I can type it up and put it on our group email. Is that okay, Denise? What do you think? Denise Shaw. Yeah, 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 come on, buddy, yeah. So if you want to be on the group email, Denise um, organized it, and we can add you if you'd like. I am still working on, like, MailChimp or something, but in the meantime, Denise put together an email so we can communicate. You want the button? I know it was a fun story. It's a good story. Thank you. Yes, there's a group email that Denise put together, and I haven't got my email set up yet. So um, if you'd like, you want on the email list too. Hey, Denise, are you seeing, seeing this for Melissa? I might could add them, I guess. I mean, Melissa. And when I email back, I could add Melissa H and uh, Denise L. So, all right. Okay. Oh, Donna Bryson. Well, hello, Donna Bryson. How are you? You want to be on an email list? I don't think I have your email. Um, can you can you email me, Donna, Bryson? Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna pull a winner. Ready? And I'm stopping at Sheila Williams. Congratulations, Sheila. All right. Let's see. Let's pull another one. Let's see who wins this one. And I'm going and stopping on. Oh, Maddie Tiger. So, Maddie, I know I don't have your address. So, make sure to... Oh, let me do this. Make sure to um, email me. You can email me at prizes at cindyalewis.com. Um, do you, if you need me to put it back up there, let me know. Oh, Lori Hanton. Lori. Okay. Um, Lori, do I have your email? I don't think I do. I'll have to send it to me. All right. Next. 
I'm pulling a winner, and it is Helen Stone. Congratulations, Helen. All right, so far we got Sheila, Maddie, and Helen. Got one more roses. I think Amber must be working a lot, too. I, don't, I haven't heard from her in a while. And Patty Lewis. All right. So that's the four roses. All right. Now we have the lilies. All right. And it is Denise Shaw. Okay. Ready? <laughs> All right. The next one is Caroline. Caroline B. Okay. Oh, I put a Sean on there. <laughs> that is too much. Okay. All right. Next. Next winner is Janice Norris. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Lots of winners. And the last one is come on spin spin to win viv vivian loves to craft or create vivian loves to create all right we got our winners guys okay so let me tell you everybody i'm sorry if you didn't win but next week we'll have fun too so vivian loves to create janice and denise and caroline and then Sheila and Maddie and Helen and Patty. So congratulations, you guys. I will um, type up the story if you are interested in the um, email. Uh, just drop me a quick line. Uh, you guys have my email. Um, <laughs> I hope everybody has an awesome week. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family and my channel here and everything else that you do. And I just have a lot of fun with you guys. Yeah, I was going to mention, if you're still here, don't forget the like button um, and on the videos. Even if you don't have time to watch the whole thing, if you can like them, any of them, it helps my channel and gets my, my videos out there. So thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your week and watch for some more fun videos. Bye.